Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing Ellie's room tour. This is my favorite room in the house. I absolutely love how it turned out. I have some clips of the process of what we did to it. It had ceiling tiles that we took down and put drywall up. That was an experience. We did that when I was like five or six months pregnant. And yes, I helped and I had like three mental breakdowns. That was a lot. So we did that. Lots of projects in this room. We repainted the trim. We still have some touch up work to do, but the room turned out absolutely perfect. I absolutely love it. I will link all the items that I can down below in case you are interested in shopping. And let's hop right into it. Okay, so when you first come in Ellie's room, so here's the door. And then right over here is her changing table and dresser. This is just an old dresser that my parents had and all the dressers were so expensive. So we went with this one because it was free. Really like it, I love all the different drawers that it has in here and it definitely goes with the theme of her room, just like very vintage and antique and girly. This is the changing pad we have. It's like the Kikaru dupe. It's under 80, I think it's 70 something. I'll have that link down below. I'll link all the things that I can down below as well. And then we just have her hatch sound machine in here and I keep some wipes and diaper cream and we keep her diapers in one of the drawers. And then up here is one of my favorite parts of her room. This shelf I got at an antique store. I actually saw it and passed on it, but then couldn't stop thinking about it. So sent my mom back to the store and she got it and I love it. It has such a great accent for this girly girl room. So just really pretty wall shelf. This little outfit is actually one of my outfits from when I was a baby and I can't wait for her to fit into it. This little rocking horse is actually a piggy bank. This is from a friend. And we have some dried rosemary from a friend's garden. A little sign that says when fears are stilled and when striving cease little one month sign and these cute little shoes so in here I can link the shoes and her cards like the one month cards but everything else is from antique stores and that um the sign sorry my nails are disgusting that sign is from a boutique like probably 10 years ago and then we'll pan over to this wall this is her hamper which I don't really use but I feel like I will eventually. Her clothes are just so small that they don't really fill that up, but I need to wash them more often. But that is from Amazon. Um, her crib is a Jenny Lynn style crib from Wayfair. And then I just have white sheets and a white skirt on it. Both are from Amazon, I believe. I have this really pretty sign. I want to hang on the front of her door. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I got this from a girl on Instagram, Caroline White. She makes these. I think it's so, so cute. So I'll eventually hang that on her front door to her room. Then we have her little lovey. She didn't have a lovey. And then my mom found this one. Um, so this will be her lovey whenever she starts, you know needing something like that. Keep that in her bed. Above her bed, I have these prints. The prints are from Etsy, and then the frames are from Amazon. I wish I would have gotten bigger frames, but honestly, I was just on a budget. So I wish they took up more of the wall, but I think they're totally fine. I'm not like mad at it. I'm not gonna go buy new frames, but they're just like a gold eight by 10 frame with all these like different kinds of peonies in them. Thought it looked really pretty. Should um, steam her bed skirt, but you know. This is her rocking chair. This is also from Wayfair. The baby blanket is one of my favorite things that I had on my registry. It's um, Pottery Barn and Love Shack Fancy. I think it is so pretty. Really just, it's perfect for the room. And has embroidered with her name on it and then I have this blanket here 
and when I rock her at night, it gets a little chilly. So I need a blanket too. But her rocking chair, it glides, rocks, and reclines. And it's just like this really soft like material. I don't know what you call that. But it's very soft, have not stained it yet. It's very comfortable, I'm very glad we got this. Then over here, I have this table, which is new to the room. Got this off of Marketplace for $20. I haven't fully decorated it yet. I want to get a lamp for up top and then I want to get a frame for her name sign. So right here we have her storybook Bible that we read to every night and then I want to start doing a little bit of the Harry Potter book as well. We haven't started that one yet but I really like this Bible so far. I feel like it's like really good like knowledge for kids but it still is very much biblical base and not just really watered down. Her little tissue holder is from an antique store. This Bible was my Mimi's that she gave me a very, very long time ago, but I thought this was sweet in here. And then we have like all of her stats and things like that. And then this little name sign that I also got from Etsy with her name that I want to get a frame for on here. And then who knows what I'll put here probably some burp cloths because when I'm ever in this chair I always need some burp cloths. Ah. I'm carrying her and she's waking up a little bit but then we have this side of her room. We have the baby delight bouncer that we're actually just borrowing from my sister-in-law. She's a little too small for it every time I'm trying to put her in it. She has not liked it because it is like it's just way too big for her she's so tiny but it's just like a baby bjorn dupe and then we have her play mat which we do use every day we do tummy time or we just lay on it let her kick around a little bit i really like this it's the love everyone i've really liked it so far i mean i haven't tried anything else i'm a first time mom <laughs> but we like it I have this antique chair, which was probably, that was the first thing I bought for her nursery and just really what I based the whole nursery off of. The needle point is just so beautiful. And then it's refinished wood. This toy box was actually my toy box um, that my aunt um painted for me and so she just has her toys in there she really only has a few stuffed animals and that dyson we got from once upon a child for 250. she won't be able to use it for quite some time but i couldn't resist buying her a little dyson and then up here is her bookshelf which i just love i love reading books to her and obviously i think it's really good for her and it's just really fun and it also serves as some decor i have some books up there that were my books like the high school musical one was mine the giving tree next to it was mine growing up and then a bunch of books that i've gotten my mom's gotten a lot of them for her as well and i just think they're so sweet we love to read them we haven't read all of them yet because she's just a month old but they're super sweet i'll link some of our favorites down below as well and then she has a fireplace in her room she's so bougie it's blue right now that's what it was when we bought the house actually the carpet in this room when we bought this house was the same color blue it was horrendous um we haven't gotten a chance to paint it yet we think we have to strip it that's what that dot is right there it's us testing out paint stripper i think i want to do just like a creamy white i think that would be pretty but right now it's just an eyesore but it'll be really pretty once it's painted and then her mantle this is another little rocking horse from a friend from an antique store. This is the little hook I want to put on her front bedroom door to hang her name sign. I just haven't done that yet, so it's right there. It's so cute. That's from an antique store. Also got this mirror from an antique store, and I want to get a brush as well. I just thought it was so pretty. Then we have this mirror, which was my mom's. Uh, my mom has had it for ever. So I just hung it in here and it fits with the decor. And then I have this little picture here of me and Ellie Belly at the Taylor concert. And I just think it's so sweet. And then here is my American Girl doll. It's one of the Just Like Me dolls. 
So I figured her name is Elizabeth, my name's Elizabeth. So I figured it'd be cute to put in here and that'll be her first American Girl doll. And then this is her closet. It's kind of a mess. So I'm not going to show you that. I need to touch up some paint in here. And then up top we have this painting, which was also something my aunt did of a picture of me. Um, and I thought it was sweet to put in here. So use a lot of things that were mine, a lot of used things, but I love this room. I love how it turned out. Also this rug. This is from Home Depot. I love this rug. I get all of my rugs from Home Depot. They're like the best price, I think, for what you get. Um, and I think it's so pretty. It's exactly what this room needed. And yeah, I think it was like $150. So for an eight by 10 area rug, I think that's such a good price. But here is her room. It's my favorite room in the house. I love how it turned out. Her paint color is cup cake kisses i think i'll um make sure it's in the description box i'll double check it's from home depot i know uh, we tried so many different paint colors and this was the one that i loved the most just a very subtle paint so here is miss ellie's room tour i hope you guys enjoyed please give this a thumbs up and subscribe